Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Creative Mama of Three. I am Cynthia, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make bowl cozies. Now, if you don't know what a bowl cozy is, a bowl cozy is something that you put your bowl in to protect your hands. So if you want to microwave a bowl of soup or you're going to have a bowl of oatmeal, you would put the bowl into this cozy, and then you could sit on the couch or you could sit outside and enjoy the weather, and your hands will be protected from the heat. As well as if it's in the summer and you want to enjoy, enjoy a nice bowl of ice cream, it would also protect your hands from being too cold. And also if you like me and want to eat ice cream in the winter and maybe outside, you can use it for that too. Now I have a few that are made right now, but I'm going to show you how to make one. Here's one right here. As you can see, we have um, an outside. This is a little Christmassy one. So we have some gingerbread snowman, snowmen and all that, and then inside is brown. Okay, so what you're going to need, you're going to need a few, few items. So let's get started. So what you're going to need is you're going to need two pieces of fabric that measure 9 inches square. This is going to be my outer fabric, so this is the one you're going to see more. And then this one's going to be the inner fabric. It's a nice coordinating fabric that go well together. And then you're going to need two 9-inch um, squares of this batting. Okay, I'm using um, Wrap and Zap. And then these two pieces of fabric are 100% cotton. What you're going to do is you're going to line up the fabric on the squares as best as possible. Make sure you get it all nice and lined up and flat. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sew corner to corner to um, attach the batting to each of the fabrics. And I have some here, so I'm going to show you. Now I used a white thread, so it's not as noticeable. But you can always use, you know, whatever thread you want. And then here is the nice cute unicorn fabric. Okay. Once you have the pieces sewn from corner to corner, normally I just freehand this. This is only a 9 inch square, and it doesn't have to be 100% um, perfect. It's just you just needed to attach the batting to the fabric. Okay, and then what we're going to do on the wrong side, so on the batting side, we're going to make darts on the corners. That is what gives it, let me show you here. That is what gives the height so that the bowl fits nicely in the middle. Okay? And then so here's like one of the darts right here. We're going to do four darts. Now normally what I like to do is I like to line it up onto my cutting mat. And we're going to go one inch high, one and a half inches over. Okay? It doesn't have to be exact, but you want it to do can be consistent. So we're going to go one inch high. Let me move it up a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to go one inch high, which is right here. And then we're going to do roughly one and a half inches there. And then you want to take a ruler. And then we're just going to match these lines. And then this is going to be your sew line. Just doing it with a sharpie so we can easily see it. And then you want to do the same on this side as well. Go one inch high, one and a half inches across. And then we're going to connect those lines as best as possible. Okay, and then we're going to do that on both of them. Let's move that one out of the way. One inch high, one and a half. You know, just roughly draw that line there. One inch high, one and a half. And we're going to draw that as well. Okay, and then we need to sew on these lines. Okay, now I'm going to sew our darts. What I'm using also is a cotton thread in my machine. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, and then we're just going to sew that. Press it foot down. Okay, and we're 
we're going to sew on our line. I'm going to cut our threads and let's sew the next one. Make sure that you have it completely folded in half. And we want to make sure we stay on that line as much as possible. Okay, and then let's do the other one. That's why I like to mark all of mine first. These make great craft fair projects. I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so I made my first darts right here. And you can see this is where I marked it. And this is all good. This is all on the inside, so it doesn't really matter as much. But what we're going to do now is we're going to do the other darts. See, this is the good fabric. You see how it's taking shape. So what I like to do is we're going to match up the darts, and then I like to take some of my wonder clips here or my clips actually and just clip them together so everything is all nice together and then we're going to do the same thing here we're going to do oops, let's go a little higher for you okay we're going to do one inch and then one and a half. And then we could do this one as well, one inch here. And then one and a half. Okay, and then let's get the other one. So you've got these here. I like to put my little pleats together. And clip that. And then clip that. Make sure everything lays flat. Take my Sharpie. I like the Sharpie because it's easier to see. Got one and then one and a half. And then we do this one, one up, one and a half over. And then you take your ruler once again. And we're going to match up these lines as best as we can. You can also create, like sometimes when I'm making a whole bunch of these, I will create a little template and then just draw it out on that template. Use the template to draw my lines. Okay, we'll draw the lines right, right there. And then if you don't have a ruler, just make yourself a nice little guideline. Now the one thing about that is that you see all that fuzz? So we're just going to take that off gently. We don't want any permanent marker on our hands. Okay, and we go back to the sewing machine and sew on those lines. Okay, and it, now we're going to go to the machine and we're going to stitch on the lines we just made to make our, our second set of darts. Okay, cool. Okay, now let's cut 
with this. Okay, so now we have two little cozies. Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to snip off the extra. Now be careful, don't go too close to your stitch lines. You do not want to cut off the stitches that you just did. So we're going to cut these off because it just creates too much bulk. And we don't need that. We want to make sure that your bowl sits nicely inside your cozy. So we're going to cut these off. Take out the clips. And cut off this one here. So each piece should have four darts and then now it kind of looks like this. Got one and then you got two. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this one inside out. Doesn't matter which one and we're going to put it inside this bowl. Now what I like to do is I like to pin all around it to make sure that our darts line up. That part is really important. Okay, so we're going to make sure. Okay. I have to make sure I pin one on each side of the dart at first to make sure that everything is lining up. I need some more clips. I love these clips. Okay. Okay, and one more side here. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to put a few more clips though, but what we're going to do is we're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance all around the edge, but we are going to need to leave an opening. Okay, because what we're going to end up doing is we're after we sew that quarter inch seam all around, we're going to pull it through that opening. Now what I normally like to do is I like to pick one of the flat sides, so probably like one of these sides here. What I'm going to do is I come around the edge, go a little bit down here, leave the opening, and then come back here and do it. So we're going to leave probably just a two inch opening. I find kind of find that you don't want the opening too big because then it gets a little fussy when it comes to um, sewing it back up at the end. But you definitely do not want to have to deal with a corner. So you want to make sure you turn all your corners and just leave a flat piece. Okay, so then we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew all around, but we're going to leave a little bit of an opening. I'm going to clip this one here. I need one more clip. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to leave an opening. So let's go do that. I kind of like to start start in the middle of middle of a side. I don't like to always like to start at the edge. Start in the middle here. We're going to do just a quarter of an inch. So quarter of an inch seam allowance all around. You want to make sure you pivot 
on your corners. And you want to make sure you adjust it. It's going to get fat when you're doing over here on the darts. So you want to make sure that they lay as flat as possible. String right here. Okay, there we go. All right. And let's keep going. Okay. You want to make sure all your layers are together before you start sewing it doing a lot of layers here. Up to our last seam. So what I'm going to do, oops, let's, okay, let's go back stitch over here. I'm going to leave this part as the opening. Actually, I'm going to do maybe a little, oops, a little more. Okay, and then we're going to do back stitch. Okay, I always want to secure that opening, especially when you're going to be using it to turn your piece right side out. Okay. So there we go. Let's take out the last clip that was kind of holding it together. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to go reach in between the two fabrics. Okay, first I guess first we what you do is cut a little bit of these corners. Just a smidge, but be careful you do not Cut off your stitch lines, that would not be good. Okay, there we go. Now let's find that opening once again. There it is. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to stick my thumb and my pointer finger and poke out those corners. You want to keep the corners nice and, and sharp if possible. Okay. Now this will take a minute because you got a lot of fabric that you're trying to get through a little hole. Just take your time. Okay, there you go. Wasn't too bad. Okay, we already poked out two of the holes. Let's poke out the other two. to use my fingers but you can use a chopstick you can use your scissors so just be, be careful with your scissors you don't make a hole okay and there we go we have our cute little bowl cozy okay but now we have this opening here that we have to stitch up so I'd like to just fold it down to now just sew like a top stitch. I like to try to do it as close to the edge as possible. Okay, so we're almost done. Okay, I'm not going to do a quarter of an inch. I'm just probably going to do like an eighth of an inch. And it's a little bulky. Okay, so this this project, you know how they always tell you never to push or pull any of your work through your machine? 
but since we have so many layers, it does need a little coaxing. could be a little the corners that have the most bulk so just take your time okay. and now we're coming up to our opening so we want to take out these start of it okay and we are done all we need to do is just to trim up all our loose threads okay we are all done with our bowl cozy I'm sorry as I was editing this video I realized that a lot of the stuff I was doing was off camera and I apologize this is technically my first um, tutorial video that I've done on sewing so please bear with me I will get better I appreciate all your support but I wanted to show you the finished product it is my bowl cozy I'm trying to get a good picture here see it is really cute it has the unicorns on the outside and it has the dots on the inside I actually made this um, for my newest um, niece, newest member of our family. I made her, um, her mom, dad, and her brother um, bowl cozies about two years ago, and she was just born this year, just a few months ago, so I am going to be sending one for her so that everyone will have one. So I think it's very easy. Um, the last step that I did do, which you didn't see on camera, um, was do the top stitching. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, when you are done with your bowl cozy and you turned it right side out, what you want to do is you want to sew all around here, about one eighth of an inch to also make sure you close up the hole and then just to keep everything secure. Okay, and it's really nice. Great for a little kid. And then the, the bowl fits in there very nicely. This is one of my bowls and it's a pretty standard um, soup, cereal, ice cream bowl. Okay. And I think she would love it. I think that it's, you know, picky eaters might want to have their food in a nice little bowl cozy. It might make dinner time a little more fun or snack time or meal time a little more fun. So thank you for joining me. Please comment in the bottom, like, and subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Hopefully this is the first of many tutorials to come. Thank you and have a great day.